Well, good morning, Southlake family and friends, and happy Friday. As you can see, I'm coming to you from a little different location than I'm used to speaking from, uh, that being my living room at home, but I'm uh, traveling. Pam and I are traveling for a few days, and so uh, I want to finish on this Friday as we lead into a weekend uh, with the foundations that we've been looking at, foundations of our devotion and our discipleship. We've been looking at these now for the last couple of weeks. By the way, we'll continue in the future because there's a few more that I want to go over with you. But uh, for now, I want this to be the final one. And I wanted to read 1 Corinthians 10, 13, which I'll do in just a minute. But here's the principle that's foundational and such an important one. And that is that God is faithful in adversity. Our God is faithful in our adversity. And so you've heard the saying, perhaps, that God will never give us more than we can handle. I absolutely believe that that is true in Jesus Christ. That in Christ, as a follower of Christ, that he will never give you more than you can handle in him. And that's essentially what 1 Corinthians 10, 13 says. Let me read it. It says, the temptations in your life are no different from what others experience. And God is faithful. That's the key phrase here. He will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. When you are tempted, he will show you a way out so that you can endure. And so again, the key phrase here is that God is faithful. Faithful in ways of adversity. The word temptation that's used three times here in this one verse means basically tests, temptations, anything that speaks of adversity in our life. And the promise is this, that in Christ, God knows exactly what you can handle he will always put within you the ability to hold up under whatever pressure comes upon you because he knows you and he knows what you can handle. And, and your life is a preparation for eternity. He is preparing you in every adversity. It's part of what he's doing. He's allowing that so that you will be prepared for all that he has planned in ruling and reigning with Jesus for all eternity. And so that's the power of this verse is that time and time again, uh, sometimes we're Concerned, We see what other people are going through in the world. We can see that in Ukraine today, for instance. But you see what other people go through. Sometimes you think, well, how could I ever go through that? How could I ever bear up under that? Well, the promise of God is that whatever adversity that you're called to go through in your life, you can and you will bear up under that in Jesus Christ because he gives you the ability to do that. What you go through is no different than other, what other human beings go through. Qualitatively, it's no different that we all go through the same stuff in our preparation beyond this life. And so to trust in the faithfulness of God it becomes such an important promise and foundation of our life to live in that day by day, every day of our life. Let me read it in the Passion Translation. It says, we all experience times of testing, which is normal for every human being, but God will be faithful to you. He will screen and filter the severity, nature, and timing of every test or trial that you face so that you can bear it. And each test, get this, is an opportunity to trust him more. In other words, every adversity you go through, it be, provides a foundation on which to build for greater trust in the future, trusting him with whatever it is you face in the future. Uh, and along with every test trial, he'll provide you also the way of escape. That word literally means the exit ramp so that he'll bring you out of it into victory. So that's my prayer for all of us this day and this weekend, South Lake family, is that we will be able to really trust the faithfulness of God uh, in the adversities of our life and know that we're gonna come through that, uh, building on that in greater victories in him. So let me pray for us right now. Lord Jesus, we thank you for what you're doing in our lives. We trust you with the future of our lives, with every day and moment of our life. We commit to you now our life, Lord, especially for any of us going through uh, heaviness and adversity. We do thank you, Lord, that you're faithful and that you will give us nothing more than we can handle in Christ. We choose to turn that over to you now. Thank you for empowering us. We commit our families, our church family, pray you provide, protect, and direct us all. In Jesus' name we pray. We say amen with me. Well, amen and amen. Well, have a great weekend, and I'll look forward to talking to you next week. I want to get back in the Psalms for a specific reason. 
So I'll share more about that with you on Monday. So God bless. Have a great weekend, and we'll look forward to talking to you real soon.